friends, it's Niels, the guy from Hamburg who's now living in Arizona, and the guy who also promised you to make you a drink, right? Right, here we go. It's um, the Espresso Martini. The Espresso Martini was invented in the late 1980s. Uh, somebody went to the barkeeper and said, hey, give me something that wakes me up, and later on it should F me up. So they came up with something like this. Uh, originally, this is just one-third coffee, one-third vodka, and one-third uh, coffee liquor. If you like it really, really sweet, um, put a little bit more of coffee liquor in there, or if you want to give it a little bit of pep. Um, do not a third of coffee liquor, do a little bit less, and then exchange it with like uh, cream de coco, for example. You can also use vanilla uh, vodka, which is a great alternative, unfortunately. I do not have one in my vodka right now, but I have another little trick that I will do with my um, espresso martini for you. So let's start with the coffee. So if you have an espresso maker at home, use that. I just have a really, really strong coffee that I brewed. I had to, I had to cool it down in the fridge. Um, it's, it, it's working. But uh, nothing beats fresh espresso. So we go one third of this, the coffee, then we get one third of the coffee liquor. Uh, normally you get Kahlua all over the world where I've been. You get Kahlua in every single store. It's very, very famous. And just take the vodka brand that you like the best. Um, we got here the Tito's, which is very, very popular. I know there's Absolute out there, which is a great vodka as well. So we go with one third of that. And I have crushed ice in here already. And the little thing that I do with mine is I just add some half and half. Everybody in America knows what half and half is. Uh, for my friends in Germany, half and half is half whipped cream and half milk. So just use regular whipped cream, regular milk, both works. Or if you just have coffee on it, that's the perfect thing. So just have a zip of that in there, just for that. Put this on the top. I would give it a good shake. So, and then I'm using a chilled glass. Oh, get out of here. And with the strainer on top of it, you just fill it right in your glass. So you can see you got a very nice cream on top of it. It looks like a really, really nice cappuccino or whatever. Um, believe me, it smells awesome. In the very end, you just drop in three coffee beans and then you enjoy it. Have one on me, see you later. Mm.